come pastel, a come lechon, arroz con gandule y a beber ron. You know when I'm drinking bourbon, the review is gonna be entertaining. Fresh out of the mailbox, I requested this fragrance from Max Aroma. Today's video is sponsored by Max Aroma and it's BDK's Passe Suar Extrait. The fragrance has chocolate and ginger, so curiosity is gonna kill the cat today while I smell this fragrance and give you my honest opinion on first impressions. And I'm under the influence of about seven bourbons. Shout out to Buffalo Trace, sponsor me. There's gonna be the realest of realest of realest reviews that you're ever gonna get. I'm a little bit nauseous, I should have eaten something. What time is it? Let's roll, man. The music so we can check out BDK's Passe Soir. Next trait. <laughs> Bless you more my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, it's your boy, c 3 to the today. don't forget to like, share, subscribe, go to mrcubano.com, get your influence merch, along with anything else that you want to buy to support the brand so we can expand and grow and finally get a freaking plaque. Let's crack this joint open. I don't give a crap about the box because I cut these shits open and I throw all the boxes away. I don't keep any box. It's just not my thing. What do I need a box for? Now, I believe there's a Passe Soir Parfum or Eau de Parfum. I didn't smell it either way, so I just don't care. I got the extra concentration. I requested this one in particular because I saw the notes and it said peach and chocolate. Sprinkled in with some ginger, so the curiosity's definitely gotten to me. And I'm, I don't have patience when Buffalo Trace and Buchanan's is in my system. Yes, both of them are in my system. Don't judge me, okay? I don't have a problem. Here's the presentation of the BDK fragrance. It's a slider box. Let's just get that out. Nobody cares about a cardboard box. Nobody. Ooh, I like the color. Is that green? Yeah, it's a nice green bottle with a little, ooh, I like the tone here. I mean, nobody really cares about, I like presentations on some pieces. I don't really care about the presentation 100%, but it adds a little bit of something, especially when you're spending this kind of money. But let's go over the notes real quick, cause I'm drunk. So I don't know what the notes were. I know they had those three notes cause those are the only interesting ones, but let's see what the whole gamut of notes are, shall we? All right, so the notes are starting with Mandarin Pear Whiskey Break. So good, it gives me life. Ginger, black pepper, cacao pods, quince. Quince, isn't Diddy's kid named that? Moroccan, jasmine, orange blossom, peach, cashmere, Indonesian, patchouli, and broxen, vanilla, and benzoin. It can go one of two ways. It can go overly femme, that peach might be overly sweet, and the white florals are just gonna take over and it's gonna smell like I'm changing genders, depending on how many views I get, I might. Or it can be right on the money and it can be a spicy, delicious bomb with ginger in it that just turns me on. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Put my knife away. All right, so BDK Passe Soir Extrait. Let's check this joint out. I'm a fan of the BDK house. I mean, I, they came out out of nowhere and started doing some really nice fragrances. Obviously, their beast is Grease de Charnel, but let's see what, ooh. Oh! Hold up. Holy shit. Coño, que lindo, man. This is nice, bro. Oh my God. Mm. It's soft. It's like fresh laundry, but this, it, it's fresh laundry with an Ambroxan slap. Ooh, bro, this is fucking nice. I feel the pimpies coming too, and it's not just the alcohol talking. It might be. Chill. This gotta go on skin, bro. This smells very good. Sprayer. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. Super well balanced. I thought it was gonna lean too femme. Definitely not. Has an air of freshness to it, but the right amount of sweetness. I mean, just perfectly balanced on the sweetness, whether it be the cacao adding a little bit of a dark, bitter nuance, and that peach adding like this syrupy sweetness, but it smells more like a grilled peach. You ever put half a peach on a grill and sprinkle a little honey on top and shit, and then rub it on it? Kind of smells like that. It has like this grilled peach and honey vibe with a little bit of a bitter cacao, a little bitter chocolate, the ginger adds this nice, fresh, spicy little vibe. It's sweet, yet it's clean. Kind of like clean laundry detergents or dryer sheets. This is fucking nice. The Embroxen definitely brings together this mass appeal. Like I can absolutely wear this on some chill ass vibe. Late summer, early fall, non-offensive, super work safe. What surprises me right now is that I need more alcohol. That it has this fresh, 
yet warm, very clean, soft, comforting, very inviting, slightly sweet. So it has this subliminal kind of close encounter-ish kind of vibe from it. This is very nice and truly so unexpected even. This bitch is type Q. I'm not gonna front. She has an element about her that works. I wouldn't mind smelling this on a shorty either. This definitely has like a, I'ma buy this and shorty can wear this so I don't get screamed at for buying this. I'll be like, yo, we can share it. Share the hobby with me, boo. You know how many times throughout the years that I've tried that and it's failed miserably, but she's starting to open up when it comes to certain fragrances. So, I mean, she's taken a few YSL. She's got like a little 10 stash. So it kind of works, guys. Don't feel that it's going to fail when you buy these shareable fragrances. Because if it works for my wife, who's the Guinness Book of World Records, like I even tried to like put it in the book, biggest fragrance hater in the world, there's hope for you. The more that it starts to dry down, the fruitiness still stays there, but it's such a well-balanced fruitiness. And it's got this musky fruit essence with this little bit of a dirty patchouli vibe. There's a nice bittery chocolate kind of energy about it. And then that ginger is there adding this kind of this subtle waft of spice to this joint. This is a very nice surprise of a fragrance. I didn't get full goose pimples. I, I felt like goose pimples were coming, but there's an energy about this joint that I really, really like. Like, this shit is the vibe. There's really nothing offensive about this scent profile. It has a little bit of a mass appear flair. The versatility is there, the sweetness, the muskiness, the vanilla, the bitter, the spice, the airiness, that cleanliness. It really has signature scent worthy capability. So BDK, well done. This is absolutely a full ball spray. They're pleasantly surprised. This could have gone either true femme or just kind of bleh, whatever. This is actually very nice, quite surprising, and definitely gonna spray my taint with this right now. I mean, it feels like it's got some power behind it. I don't know what the projection or sillage bubble is, but from the spraying from the nut to the chin, definitely got some body. It's a little bit of a scent cloud. <clears throat> it's kind of in the back of the throat right now. Pause, sounded crazy. Listen, Basse Swore Extra, very good. Well done, BDK. Wow, very surprising. Doesn't smell like anything I can think of. There's no clone kind of vibe or inspiration by this fragrance. It's just a clean, fruity, musky, bitter, airy, spicy fragrance. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Have you tried this fragrance? Have you tried the original? And how may they differentiate? I'll see y'all bitches next time. Shout out to Max Roma for sponsoring today's video. I'll put a link in the description with my little coupon code. If you guys wanna save a buck and potentially get this or a sample. I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Oh yeah, me otro trago que estoy preparado to get naked. Eh, sorry, smooches. Go do something nasty. Fresh, who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Tell em. Who for the fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag. When it's time to call back, oh. for the rough, rugged, and raw way. This nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>